All right, everybody, welcome back. It is your pal Al, and we're picking up where we left off playing some Dying Light 2, Stay Human. And I had a request to do some night missions. So because I had that request to do some night missions, I'm going to do a few. So this is one that was added post-launch. I've never completed it or played it before. It's called Hard Driven. We're supposed to go recover a hard drive full of research data from an old GRE facility. Uh, this is one that's it has not been out long that I know of, um, but it looks like there's some pretty nice goodies that you can get from it. I also have a new weapon I want to try out. This Nocturnal Fire Station Great Axe. Um, apparently, I do a plus 70% damage to like volatiles, tyrants, hives, things like that. But it adds a 4% immunity drain. So you got to be careful with it. Um, that being said, I got all of my gear on to, to boost what stats I do have. So let's go have a little bit of fun, shall we? It's definitely a foggy night, which can make things difficult. Um, I want to get as big a head start as I can here. Oh yeah, there's volatiles all over the damn place, of course. Let's head out. You know there's going to be a volatile right down here. Nice. All right. We're going to head towards these so we don't run out of juice on our paraglider. got to be low enough so we can hit this one. Ooh, did you hear that? Oh wow, this is all the way over here. Now, if I would have known that, I don't think I can make it from where I'm at. So I'm going to play it safe and head to the windmill. And then from there, hopefully I can make it over. There we go. Hmm. Well, let's do it. This ought to be interesting. A lot of these uh, missions that were added later on or during the anniversary, you know, edition and whatnot. They got a lot of fun twists and turns in them. We just finished up playing through the ones with Tolga and Fatine. That was a really good time. Man, there's volatiles everywhere right now. All right, so this is, it says that this ax, even though I do a ton of damage to like volatiles and other enemies, it supposedly drains my um, immunity, so we're going to have to watch it. Although, since it is daytime, excuse me, nighttime, all the volatiles should be out and about. We shouldn't have to worry about it unless we wake up inside here. You always want to give yourself a, uh, a second way out. I always do this whenever I come into one of these buildings because I always want to give myself an out in case something goes wrong. gonna let me there we go all 
Now I wonder, like, just out of curiosity, where... Hmm. I wonder where... So we're trying to find this this hard drive, right? There we go. We should be good to go. Uh, I'm high enough level and I have good enough immunity. And I got about 90 immunity boosters on me that are, you know, really, really like high, high, pretty high rank. So as long as I don't screw something up big time, should be okay. And the light doesn't bother them when they're sleeping. Should be just fine. Just gonna clear these two out. Yep, I figured there wouldn't be much on them. Um, I'm not in any hurry, so I'm gonna take this nice and slow. There's got to be some kind of catch with this, though, because I've cleared out, well, like all of these multiple times. So just to have you come in. Oh, it's not even letting me grab anything, huh? Really? Nada? Let's see. Whoops. Hell was that? Deliver, oh, the drive to the carrier's guild locker. Oh, okay. Well, that wasn't so bad now, was it? Is that all of it? We'll see. I could go back up. Probably just go back up the way I came. Considering I've already cleared this out, there really shouldn't be much of any loot that I'm gonna need either. Ooh. Whoa, what did I just do? Am I not able to... Hold up. Yep, don't care. I was saying, I'm not going to keep going deeper into that when I've already cleared it all out because there wouldn't really be anything down there for me. So the Carrier's Guild, um, it's going to be one of, where are they at? Right, one of these. Carrier's Guild locker. Where's the closest one? Uh, I'm not going to go to one on St. Paul Island. This place is a madhouse. Let's do this. It's an electrical station. Yeah, we'll just go to the electrical station. Oh, 
right over here. Perfect. All right. I think my my bed is a pure and it is. I'm curious what I'm curious what I get out of Oh, here it is. So, real quick while I'm here. Money you were saving for crystals? Let's get down to business. Like that, don't you? Mm, here we go. This is what I want more than anything, honestly. You sure know how to pick him. And then I want to off load all of my crap. Always need some of these. You just put the boom. I have no choice. And then here's where I want to go. Get a good jump off point. There we go. Now, where's my closest? What's that? What is on top of that? Oh, the Angel of Villador? Enter the Church of St. Thomas. I've been asking to... Well, while we're here, we can just knock this one out too. The Angel of Villador. Should we just do it since we're here? Let's do it. Yeah, whatever. No, we'll do these one at a time. How come there's no... How come right here? Is this the closest one? Probably. So, here we go. Uh, helps if you open up your parachute, Aiden. Or your paraglider. That was funny. Didn't even open his paraglider. There we go. So at this point, we just kind of need to make it across the uh, the river. But I have a feeling we're just basically going to make it to the water's edge here. Or the top of this windmill. That would be just fine and dandy also. And then we don't have to mess with all the shamblers slowing us down. Uh. <laughs> hey, it works. There are one or two um, inhibitors running around that I'm not sure where they're at. There's not many, only a couple. But there are a few that I have left to get. I think maybe like two. I'm just not sure where they are. So hopefully we happen upon them. Here we go. Oh, great. Boom. There we go. Yeah, there we are. Let me climb to the top of this real quick to where I can actually get some peace and quiet away from these shamblers. There we go. All right, that didn't work. There we are. There we are. All right, so now we have some unspeakable skill points and what did we get in our inventory for that ah here we go and I'm up to level 32 should we open it let's open it 
Orange crystal core and some legend tokens. Nice. I will take it. Let's see, do we have anything else? What? These must have been items we picked up when we were running around. Yep, some surgeon gloves, which we will sell, and some surgeon boots, which we will also sell. All right, guys. We just completed that mission. Uh, hard driven. Your pal Al. Love you guys, and I will see you in the next video.